much. Now, if you don't have a, a special kind of pot like I do, which is a vegetable steamer pot, uh, you may need a basket or something that you can use to submerge the peaches in there without dropping them in. Because always, well, you can drop them in. You just have to fish them out with a spoon, okay? Uh, well, a pincher might mush the peaches. I don't know. <laughs> it might be a little hard. But uh, anyway, I have a steamer basket here. on the pot. So I'm going to put a few peaches. Now you only want to put one layer in the bottom of your pot because otherwise uh, you'll overflow your pot. Uh, so I just put one layer. Oh, I didn't quite have enough almost. Got a circle in the bottom anyway. <laughs> this is just a demonstration. I'm not canning a bunch of peaches. So we're going to stick them in that water and they only need to be in there for about 30 seconds. Doesn't take very long. I don't have a second hand. It's a cram or perfect. Does anyone have a stopwatch? Oh, uh, I, I have a second hand. Okay, tell me when 30 seconds is okay. up. That's all I need. Got it. You can do the apples and the ferns like you do in peaches. So. Uh, apples, no, the skin won't come off. But nectarines will. Although, if I can nectarines, I leave the skin off because they have a, a more tender skin than peaches do. Um, mainly peaches and tomatoes are the only ones I do this with uh, to get that skin off. It's up? Thumbs up? All right. My water is not as hot as it usually would be if it was on a stove because that hot plate is not as hot. But anyway, do you we'll see how that works. Gas stove or electric stove? I have electric. <laughs> yeah. But an electric stove is a little hotter than a hot plate. <laughs> Anyway, just throw those peaches in, and we'll see how well the hot plate did it. <laughs> ah, well, it's starting to come off. That's a good thing. See, the, the skins actually literally just peel right off. It's pretty amazing, huh? Yeah. And you thought I'd sat there and hand peel all those peaches with a knife.